Welcome back to SoFlow TV again, everybody. It is your host with the most. Call this one Immigration Inauguration. Okay, tomorrow, President Joe Biden will have his inauguration and will officially take over and be seated as the President of the United States of America following Donald Trump. Now, for my Morning Thoughts family, we will be live 6 a.m. to 7 a.m., Back to our regular morning thoughts hours. So tune in for the early risers tomorrow morning. Now, for those of you who might have relatives who are living in the shadows, and for anyone out there who is listening to this who is living in the shadows, and living in the shadows means that you are a person who is of a illegal status in the United States of America which means you are eligible to be deported because you have no legal documents binding you to be here. For those people who are fighting to stay or, or who are hiding because they want to stay and do not want to get caught, things are about to get a hundred times brighter for them. So pass this news along because it might lift some spirits. There's some people right now in the Caribbean who are worried sick about their brothers and sisters and their children who have ran off to seek a better life. And they are hiding in the U.S. and they have been here for years, living, working under the table and living in the shadows. However, taking this directly from the Chicago Tribune, President-elect Joe Biden plans to unveil a sweeping immigration bill on day one of his administration. That would be the 21st of January, 2021. Hoping to provide an eighth year path to citizenship for an estimated 11 million people who are living in the US without legal status. A massive reversal from the Trump administration's harsh immigration policies. Of course, a lot of people would say, you don't have any right to be here because your papers are illegal, go home. Others have said, these people are running from all kinds of things. Some are running from uh, poverty. Others are running from crime and violence. They just want a better life. And a lot of them, majority of the illegal immigrants have actually managed to stay out of trouble and stay in the shadows to the tune of 11 million. Now, before I go any further, let me say this. I do side with American citizens who have to bear the brunt of this in taxes. However, I'm not one of those who think, oh, the illegals are coming to take our jobs or the illegals are getting free money because there is no program on the books where illegals are given free money. And the jobs that illegals normally take are jobs that citizens normally do not want. Now, with that said, to think that there are 11 million people who are illegal in one country, that is crazy. However, this is the land of immigrants, like it or not. Some people want it to be the land of their own, but it's not. It is the land of immigrants and others will even say it is the land of the American Indian and it was stolen from the American Indian and now it's the land of immigrants. That eight year path to citizenship, that is huge and he will jump on that on his first day, first day. That's got to give hope to a lot of people. Now, here's a little information about that, though. So the, le the legislation puts Biden on track to deliver on a major campaign promise, which is very important to, of course, the Latino voters and other immigrant communities after four years of Donald Trump's restrictive policies and his mass deportation. It provides one of the fastest pathways to citizenship for those who living without legal status of any measure in recent years, but it fails to include the traditional off of enhanced border security 
favored by Republicans. So when this goes to be looked at by all parties, you can expect the Republicans to try to put their bid in for heightened border security. Well, Biden will have to do a little wheeling and dealing and a little compromising, but I am having faith that it will happen, that he will be able to get this passed where illegal immigrants will be able to come out of the shadows and live freely and build family and contribute to the country and pay their taxes like everybody else. Now, expected to run about a hundred or hundreds of pages, the bill is set to be introduced after Biden's oath off the office on Wednesday. According to a person that is familiar with the legislation and granted the right to speak without getting their identity revealed, as a candidate, Biden calls Trump's actions on immigration an unrelenting assault on American values. And he said that he would undo the damages while continuing to maintain border enforcement. Now, under the legislation, those living in the U.S. as of January 1st, 2021, without legal status, means you are illegal, they would have a five-year path to temporary legal status or a green card. If they pass background checks, pay their taxes, and fulfill other basic requirements, from there on, it will be another three years path to naturalization if they decide to pursue citizenship. And I can guarantee you that they all will. For some immigrants, the process would be even quicker. Those people who they call the dreamers, the young people who arrived in the U.S. illegally as children, their parents dragged them across the border or ran off with them on vacation and never returned. It was beyond their control. They might be able to get theirs quicker, as well as agricultural workers and people who are under temporary protective status. They could qualify more immediately for green cards if they are working or if they are in school or if they meet other basic requirements. Now, this bill is not comprehensive as the last major immigration overhaul proposed when Biden was vice president during the Obama administration. For example, it does not include a robust border security element, but rather calls for coming up with strategies. Nor does it create any new guest worker or other visa programs. It does address, though, some of the root causes of immigration from Central America to the United States of America, and it provides grants for workforce development and for English language learning. So Biden is expected to take swift executive actions to reverse other Trump immigration actions, including putting an end to the prohibition on arrival from several predominantly Muslim countries. Now you've seen the protests and you've seen the people walking around with their signs saying illegals go home, illegals go home. And they hate Biden because he is letting terrorists into the country. Well, every person knows who has sense knows that every person from a Muslim country is not a terrorist. Okay. So that ban in itself was seen as something that was illegal, but it was placed, put in place by Donald Trump through executive order. And it is through executive order by Joe Biden that that will be erased. Now, during the Democratic primary, Biden consistently named immigration actions as one of his day one priorities, pointing to the range of executive power he could invoke to reverse Trump's policies. So Biden's not worried. He knows he has, he's going to have the power executively to reverse most of what Donald Trump had done during his time 
as far as immigration goes. Biden's allies and even some Republicans have identified immigration as a major issue where the new administration could find common ground with Senate Republican leader Mitch McConnell and enough other GOP senators to avoid the stalemate that has vexed administrations of both parties for decades because they've been trying to do this whole immigration reform thing for decades now. But there is so much demand from both sides that there has not been any common ground enough to actually pass a comprehensive immigration reform. This seems to be at the top of the list for Joe Biden, as in the first thing he is attacking as president day one on the job, the 21st of January, 2021, will be this. Leave your comments in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about this one. Remember, as a candidate, Joe Biden even went as far as to say that Obama administration had actually went too far in its aggressive deportation. And I don't know if you know it, but President Obama was one of the presidents that, if not the president that did the most deportations ever, as quietly as it was kept. And Biden being vice president, Biden said, what do you want me to do? I'm not the president. I am the vice, I was the vice president. Those were the president's orders. It is not my duty to overrule him, but now that I am in that position and I see where that could have been done better, I am going to do just that. So for those of you out there living in the shadows or have close family members and friends living in the shadows, meaning hiding, ducking from ice, having to hide your information, having to limit your whereabouts or go outside scared because you think you might get picked up and held in an ice facility, jail, prison, and then deported possibly, those days are coming to an end, hopefully sometime soon. All right, I'll catch you on the next video. And we already covered all the other things that Joe Biden had planned, laid out that he will be reversing. And I will attach that video to the end of this video so you can see it all. All right, see you in the morning on Morning Thoughts, 6 to 7 a.m. live on SoFlow TV. I'm out. Peace.